All right, first day of the hunt. Sun just starting to peak. It was uh, extra chilly last night, so we didn't um, didn't get up too early this morning. Got up at about sunrise or 30 minutes before. Got the buddy heater going, and some water boiling, gonna make some coffee, oatmeal, and then bags all loaded up, and we're gonna go walk this ridge and hopefully get lucky. Rich Malin? <laughs> it's freezing. Truck's nice and icy. Morning! Alright y'all, it's day one of the hunt. We're all loaded up. We got a little bit of late start, but it was pretty damn cold last night. So We got all our gear loaded up in our backpacks. We're gonna go. We've seen a couple people go by on some side-by-sides already. Um, so we're Road gonna, hunters. <laughs> we're going to get out there. We're going to hike up to one of these bridges and start glassing. Stay tuned. Got a bull elk over there. Just came up the ravine. We got Alright, y'all, this is where we're glassing for the morning. Just had two big bull elks come by. Fortunately, no elk tag for us. But. Yeah. Is there a phone on there? Yeah, they're right there. Wait. There's the bottom of the ravine in that yellow bush. Yellow bush. Yeah, I see them. They're going up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're there. I got them. It seems like whenever it's the line of us, everything is crossing over. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we don't try to get to that point over there and then we can look up here. Mm -hmm. This isn't a bad little spot, though.
Red one's yours. Which one? Red one. Thank you. You're welcome. What's in there? Okay guys, we just um, hiked up, kind of back up to the ridge where we started this morning, um, but way to the left of where we were hunting this morning. Um, That peak over there is the one we were just sitting on. So we hiked way up here. These hills are no joke. Yeah. It was like 600 feet of gain pretty quick. Is that a lot? To us that's a lot because we live at zero feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's just so beautiful out here. We've seen some, some doe mule deer we've seen some elk no bucks yet hopefully um hopefully in the next couple days we didn't get to do much scouting yesterday because of the rain and snow and just the fog was insane yesterday so this is really kind of like our first day of scouting let's do it yeah what happened to your uh Spotting scope might have broken. Yeah, the tripod is a piece of crap. Not the tripod, but the uh, the mount. Yeah, the swivel mount thingy. Swivel mount thingy, majiggy. Oh, it's beautiful out here, guys. We are hiking along, and I think we just found a low graveyard. We found. We've got a whole bunch of vertebrae. I mean, they're everywhere here. Looks like a piece of the pelvis. And then Stu just found its head.
Well, started the day off here <clears throat> about a mile the other way, glassed up some elk, and then we glassed this group of deer. They were about a mile and a half, so we snuck in, got closer, thought we saw a buck, so I came up by myself, got within 500 yards, K came, and then we made a sneak. <sighs> Then 400. I gla I ranged him at 350. Lost him for a bit. I never re-ranged him, but I just did. The tree he was at was 400. I dialed for 350 and I missed. It's a nice three by three. So I don't know. Feeling a little defeated, but yeah, I don't know. All right, y'all. We're making our way back to where we started glassing this morning. We um. They put a stock on those deer, got within 400 yards of that buck, and, you know, I'll own it. I rushed that shot, didn't have a great rest, and I probably should have ranged him one more time because I was dialed for 350. I mean, given it was only two-tenths of a mil, but got to be better. Got to got to get a better rest. I mean, you even said that, that you didn't think I looked stable on that shot, right? No, but I didn't really notice until I thought back afterwards. I think it was just... Yeah, I was trying to do it off the tripod. I should have... We, you know, we, I mean, it's only day two and we were out here and we saw a big buck and yeah, that was we got nice. excited. Yeah, that was, a, that was a nice buck. Pretty nice buck. This is kind of our, this is our first time out here. Well. Do it, well. First time you'll deer hunting. First time you'll deer hunting out here and we got kind of excited and that's okay. But, I mean, We've seen them in the same spot two days in a row, so we're going to hike back up to our glassing spot. Yeah. It looks like on the map that there's a spring on the other side of these ravines, so we think that they might be hiking out, like, you know, going out there during the day and then kind of working back to wherever they're bedding at night because we saw them in the same location twice. So we're going to head back up and try glassing some more tonight. Those mountains look massive that way. I think they're bigger. Uh, yeah, those are much bigger than what we're on. And we're at 9,000 feet. That, I think that's, um... I don't know if y'all can see him. Way off in the distance. Probably not. But we have to take some positives away from this. That we were able to glass those deer at about a mile, maybe a little less, and able to sneak up within 400 yards of a mature buck. Right? I mean... That was a big buck. There was a lot of positives in it. We worked well as a team, glassing and, and moving and sneaking in, and it's just the shot, you know? I mean, 
we live at sea level, right? We live on the coast, and the rifle is zeroed on the coast at zero sea level, and we're at 9,000 feet. So, you know, I had service. Out there and do it again. Yeah, that's it. Take the positives away, get the shot out of our heads, and get back to it, right? Let's go have some snacks. And yeah, some snacks. Definitely snacks. Hey guys, we got back to the truck just now. Um, it's still kind of light out, but it's past sunset, so it's probably going to get pretty dark here any minute now. Um, but we wanted to get back to the truck quick and early because we had some... What's going on with my gimbal? <laughs> okay, there we go. You double click it, it recenters up there. There we go. We are... Um, had some dishes to do, wanted to get the truck kind of put back together from the last couple of days. So we are just working on them. Peace out, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is the morning of day three out here. Um, we got up pretty early, we got up at like five, but it is so, so foggy. I don't think you can tell. I was gonna say, my watch said three when I woke up and I was like, why am I up right now? <laughs> His watch didn't like, I don't know, when it turned back on, when it died, it didn't recalibrate back to the right place, I guess. But it is super, super foggy. Um, so we took our time this morning. Kind of, we made our coffee, we made our oats. We're kind of all packed up now. And we're gonna hike out to that ridge. It's still so foggy, I don't know how much we're gonna be able to see. Um, but we'll just hang out there until that sun starts to come up and hopefully burn some of this fog off. I think there's a chance of rain this afternoon, so we'll have to pay attention to the weather, but let's go. I've got in my bag here I had um, just some minute rice that I soaked with water for like two or three hours and then I've added a packet of tuna creations Thai chili tuna some Duke's mayonnaise I had some of that furry khaki probably saying that wrong seasoning which is like the sesame seeds and seaweed seasoning and I mixed it all together and it made like a spicy spicy tuna bowl and then we just have these nori wraps that we are eating it with it's freaking delicious okay y'all it has started raining it's still like incredibly foggy it's absolutely ridiculous 
Um, but we ran back into town. We stopped and we got some gas and some ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> well, I guess his is ice cream sandwich. Mine is an ice cream bar. Um, we're gonna stop at the fire station. Um, no, a little further down. The lady said that um, it's a community dumpster there, so we can dump all of our trash there, which is super awesome. And then we're going to head down another road. Um, we just saw a Giant massive deer. mule deer right here in town. I'll try to insert a picture. Um, it seems like there seems to be a lot of people kind of skirting around this downtown area. So I think a lot of people have moved out of the mountains for the day. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get back out there and see if we can find something. Look, those ones are making it. Seems like they're all in the sunny spots. We should try to glass up the sun, the sunny areas. The size of these animals, this must be an elk. It's just unreal. this morning um, but no bucks so we are trying a canyon road right now we're gonna drive around the back side of kind of the mountains that we were this is quite the steep road um, <laughs> around the mountains that we were hunting this morning and see if kind of we can get out and see anything on the back side there um, but the road we're on right now it's a little sketch can we start coming back up? it's like quite pitched this way and everything you look out the driver's side window is just straight down and you can't like see down the hill it's just straight down i'm just gonna keep looking forward yeah <laughs> you definitely have to feel very comfortable and i mean we're not big off-roaders we're i mean we do some in the, like the national forest and things but we don't go out looking for crazy roads and stuff to drive on so to us this is a crazy road maybe to some hardcore overlanders this is not but you definitely have to be comfortable with your driving skills and with your vehicle with your anxiety that if you make a bad turn you're going you're gonna rumble, tumble down the hill <laughs> Shoot. you definitely got to have confidence in your vehicle too because that's roads, the biggest thing these roads will beat you down you know Some of the real sketchy stuff. 
Got an elk rib. And it goes up pretty high. It's got to be an elk. Obliterated that tree. Shit! This is sketchy enough to walk down, let alone drive a pickup truck. it is just after midday we are back in the truck um it is day five so technically we can shoot until 30 minutes after sunset but we have to get back to roswell to pick up our dogs so we have cleaned up our whole campsite we're gonna go glass this one we're more gonna spot. go glass one more spot and <laughs> then we are going to head back to roswell to get our donkeys it's been so fun yeah. we'll catch up with y'all later
See how fluffy it is? Oh, it's, kind of oh, it's got a licky. It's got a monkey bite. My dogs do monkey bites. How's my moog sound? 